Are you looking for the next craft beer to drink? Well, maybe Juice Box Hero from Greenbush Brewing is the one for you. Welcome back everybody. We are going to try Juice Box Hero. This is a 6.2% and 36 IBUs. Untapped does have it a little different. Uh, so because Greenbush does put their ABV and IBUs on the beer, we will go from that. Um, they are calling this a pale ale, American pale ale. There we go. Um, nothing really on the bottle. Um, it does say citrus ale. Here to save your lunch. So if we look at it, off-white head, tannish head, small bubbles. Uh, I do have a couple medium, but not that many at all. About a finger and a half of head. If we look at the color... It is a orange, almost copper color. Uh, it does kind of throw me off for a pale ale. Usually I see them lighter. Uh, it is kind of hazy. I can see through it, but I do have the bottom of the, the glass or the bottle the bottom of the bottle uh, floating in there. Uh, some bubbles, not very many. Let's go ahead and get a smell. Citrus, malt, and a hint of pine. The citrus and the malt is what really sticks out with a tiny bit of pine. Let's go ahead and get a drink. I was going to see if it had a date. I don't see one. Um very 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 malty um uh, i would not call this a pale ale at all very very big malt up front some citrus with a little bit of pine bitterness is very low but for 36 ibus you wouldn't expect it to be high i would not call this a uh, juice box at all this to me no juice at all no fruitiness at all Big malt, citrus, and some pine. If I was going to rate this for a pale ale, I would probably have to give it a one. That's how bad I think it is for a pale ale. Um, for me personally, I would go with a 2.5. I'm not big into the malty beers. Obviously, they used a lot of malt uh, to get that ABV up. Um, to me, this is almost like Oscar Blue's The Dave's Pale Ale. This should not be called a pale ale at all. A citrus ale, not at all. Way, way too malty. Um, there, like I, I've had it about a week, and that's it. <clears throat> oh, there is a date. Manufacture date 73117. So this beer is fresh. Um, way too malty. It shouldn't have that much malt in it to me. Anyway, now they can, if I can get into my phone, um, I just want to see about the details. Quench your summer thirst with a glass of the citrusy lunch pale ale. No, too much. Yeah, and that's all they're doing. So I would go a 2.5 on this one uh, out of 5. There have been 3,500 ratings for a 3.64. Yeah, way. Not my kind of beer at all. And to me, it doesn't fit the pale ale style. Now, obviously from the bottle, they say it's a citrus ale. But to me, that malt overpowers everything in this beer. I like the lacing, though. Yeah, so 2.5 out of 5 on this one. So uh, that'll wrap up this beer review. Until next time, happy brewing. Thank you for watching this video. Thumbs up if you liked it. Thumbs down if you didn't. 
Leave me a comment down below to tell me what you thought about this video. Also, don't forget to subscribe and share and hit that bell so you know when new videos are coming out. You can check out these videos over here. Also head over to 31stbrewing.com for everything beer and home brewing related.